Hello everyone, this is Shinmay from Make Auto Clinic. Welcome to our YouTube channel Autograph India. Today we are going to discuss on PAV system which is generally fitted by the company side. What is PAV? PAV is basically Pulse Air Wall System. The Pulse Air Wall System was introduced by the company because of uh, emission, to control the emission basically. So the Pulse Air Wall System is connected in between carburetor inlet manifold and the exhaust valve. How? We are going to show you or, and we are also going to demonstrate how it is fitted in the motorcycle. As you can see on my laptop, the PAV means Pulse Air Wall System. How does it work? 2 CO plus O2 is equal to CO2. CO means or 2 CO means carbon monoxide which is harmful for our health. O2 means oxygen and the combination of both the gases means CO2 which is harmless that is carbon dioxide. So we generally require carbon dioxide I mean the carbon dioxide is harmless from the engine side. So that means we have to convert the carbon monoxide into carbon dioxide. How? It's a big question. It's very simple. Engineers introduce this PAV system. This is the PAV wall. Right now we are using it from Royal Enfield motorcycle. The PAV is manufactured by the UCAL. Now this has got three ports. One is connected to the inlet manifold that is uh, through the rubber pipe which is based on vacuum. The second port is connected to the exhaust and third port is connected to air box. The air basically which is coming from the air box is O2 and the one which is generated by the engine in the exhaust is CO. So the O2 basically goes through the valve with the help of vacuum which gets sucked in the exhaust system. So the O2 mixes with CO that means 2CO plus O2 is equal to CO2 that means carbon dioxide. Now how does it work? The PAV system is connected as I told you before the PAV system is basically connected to the inlet manifold. This is just a regular diagram a normal diagram in the layman language I am going to tell you. The PAV system is connected to the inlet manifold. The black line is basically vacuum pipe. The inlet manifold has got a vacuum. When the in inlet intake stroke is going on, at that time the vacuum gets generated by the, generated by the engine. So at that time the valve gets inside, the valve which is inside, the fit, uh, which is fitted inside the PAV system gets open. At that time whatever the air which is filtered by the air filter is O2 and some other gases. So the O2 is collect, collected by the PAV system and goes to exhaust system. The exhaust valve, there is a valve which has got, uh, which is we can, which we can say NRV or the non-written valve. The valve opens inside, uh, the PAV system opens inside the uh, chamber and allows this O2 to flow towards the exhaust system. The exhaust has got CO, the PAV has got O2. The outcome is CO2. This is harmless. Now I am going to show you how does actually it operate. I am going to open the valve. Now these are the spares basically in the PAV system. This is the valve plate. This is the valve li plate limiter. The plate should not open inside the chamber more than the given area. So the plate basically opens very limited for limited period. As you can see there is a small gap. So the plate opens this much only, just like our reed wall system which is used in two stroke. So what actually happens, as you can see, I'll show you the valve operation. The 
there is a spring inside the inside this PAV system if you can see there is a spring inside the PAV system if I press this plunger inside the o the external wall is getting open that means when there is a vacuum the vacuum enters from this side when there is a vacuum the diaphragm gets sucked in at that time at that time the air this is this is this one is connected to the air box the air goes inside and comes to this portion this chamber and then when there is an exhaust stroke at that time this plate gets bent at that time the o2 enters in this chamber and goes to exhaust system that means the O2 which is coming inside the chamber mix with the CO and become CO2. This is the best technology which was which was manufactured and engineered by the uh, automotive engineers. Thanks for watching and stay connected.